Hello friends, I hope you are doing well and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. So I totally thought that I had filmed an intro and an outro for this video, but I guess I didn't and that's probably because I started filming immediately as soon as I woke up. In fact, I set an alarm for about 15 minutes before my actual alarm went off. So I woke up, set the camera up and fell back asleep. So the first thing you're gonna see is me actually waking up, which I don't know if that was a good decision looking back on it. But today's video is my 2020 winter morning routine. For the most part, this is what I do every single day, even on the weekends. Without further ado, here's the morning routine. So here's a clip that I was talking about. It's so grainy because I put the camera settings on immediately when I woke up and then fell right back asleep. So here's me actually waking up to my alarm and I have my alarm go off on my watch so it like vibrates my wrist and then I wake up to it and I wake up every morning at 8 a.m. Then what I do eventually here I will get there I open up my curtains so the natural light comes in. I then will watch some YouTube while I'm waking up. I like YouTube videos compared to like TikTok or scrolling through social media like Instagram because it has a stop limit to it um, and I usually do this for around 20 minutes ish sometimes longer sometimes shorter it really just depends on how I'm feeling and what video I'm picking out and there's some Quincy snuggles very very essential especially in the winter time. When I finally make it out of bed, the first thing that I do is go and grab my bathrobe. This is because I wear shorts and like a t-shirt or a tank top to bed and while that's super super cozy underneath blankets, it's pretty cold once you leave that little blanket. So then I will open up my windows, close my actual window if I have it open, open up the curtains so that I can let some natural light in and then I plug in my Fitbit. I do this every morning when I shower because even though it's waterproof, I like to regularly charge it just so it doesn't die on me and I just have that happen when I shower. And so I love you so much. That's cold. Yeah, show them the this, Christmas collar. This morning routine. Christmas collar. Christmas collar. Show them your Christmas collar, Connie. It it's just focusing on your face. It says Constantine. Constantine. Oh, Constantinople. Ow! He don't know how to use his claws oh, yet. Oh, oh. oh. He showed the collar. They'll eat the gravy. He's gonna eat the gravy. We now do heavy stretches. He got stretching him. Oh, oh. Did you see Ooh, it? Tevi stretches. Oh, he don't got a Tevi stretchy in there. Sorry. Yeah, he did. He got a mini Tevi oh, stretchy. Tom. Once all the animals have been given a sufficient amount of love, I will usually hop in the shower. I do this most days, probably five out of seven days of the week. When I'm not washing my hair, I put my hair up in a shower cap. If I am washing my hair, this is the shampoo that I use. I shampoo my hair with this crazy little brush thing. It's like silicone tips and I really like it actually. I was super skeptical at first. Then I will put the conditioner on the ends of my hair and keep that in there the entire time I shower. I recently bought this body wash on sale and I've been loving it and I use this with an exfoliation mitt. Every time I shower I do this but the rest of it I don't do every single time. This is the only part that I do every time. If I choose to shave, this is when I will do it and I use a bar of soap instead of shaving cream and if I shave I will follow it up with a scrub, either the scrub or a uh, sugar scrub of some sort and then I top it off with this wet skin moisturizer. I've always forgotten to moisturize after showers, but this has changed the game for me. I always, always, always brush my teeth without fail. And if you want to answer a question, are you the kind of person who brushes their teeth before they eat or have coffee or after they eat and have coffee? Then I'll make sure to wash my hands really good because the next thing I'm going to do is put in my contacts and the last thing I want is to start off my day with toothpaste in my eyes. That sounds horrible. If you are new to contacts, make sure your hands are clean and dry. I promise you that is the way you're going to get the most comfortable contacts and get them in the easiest. When I'm done with all of that, I will put my Fitbit back on. At this point, it is usually almost fully charged, so I don't know why I charge it every single day, but it's just part of my routine at this point. 
skincare time this is the toner that i've been using i do this instead of washing my face and i use this on a reusable cotton round replacement i do not like this product and i will not be repurchasing it but i want to use it all up i will be replacing it once it is all gone and i'm very excited for that day there's nothing wrong with it but there's also nothing that i love about it then I put on this lightweight moisturizer. This moisturizer, there's nothing that exciting about it, but I really love it. I found great results with my skin and I put that on my face and my neck, on my under eyes. Just make sure that I'm gently rubbing that into my skin and making sure it is fully absorbed in. Time for the most important step and that is sunscreen. This sunscreen I absolutely hate and I would not recommend to anyone, once again, using it all up, but look at that white cast. It is so thick and insane and you will see here just how bad the white cast truly is but I have to really work it to get in my skin look at that ew it's so scary but if you I have to rub it in so intensely to try to get it into my skin so if you have any melanin in your skin at all this is not going to work for you because I'm translucent and still have to blend it for so long to get it in Top off my skincare with some chapstick. This one has 20 SPF in it, and look at that. I'm pointing out my pimple so no one else will. It's finally time to get dressed. I try to dress every single day, even if it's nothing exciting. Like today, I look kind of like a monotone Steve Jobs. I filmed a video a while back about the benefits of making your bed every single day where I tried it out for 14 days and I still do it, I just don't do it uh, first thing in the morning like I used to. I still do it every single day and I still love it. Time for some morning coffee. I don't usually have breakfast, but I will have a cup of coffee. Look at that steam, a good hot cup of coffee. I love it. I have been putting in some oat milk with my coffee and then topping it off with some almond milk creamer. This one is from Silk and I think it's pumpkin spice flavor. I have only been wearing makeup about two days out of the week whenever I feel like it, but when I do, this is the look I go for. This is an illuminating base that I put on my skin. I really like it because it gives me like a dewy look without being overly highlighted. Next up is the brows. I comb them through with a little bit of a spoolie and then I use a taupe eyeshadow and a really skinny angled brush. I put the uh, eyeshadow through the middle to the end part of my eyebrow. I use this NYX eyebrow pencil for the front end where I want really precise and then sometimes on the very tail to make sure it is all nice and clean. Topping off the eyebrows with this Essence Brow Mascara, I like it because it gives a little bit more structure and just an overall tint. Moving on to concealer, I take this Revlon concealer and I carve out the bottom of my eyebrows and then sometimes a little bit of the top to give it a really nice defined shape. I rarely wear any foundation, so I use the concealer on my under eyes, on the top of my eyelids, on my nose, sides and any blemishes that I have to give a really nice coverage without covering my entire face. I blend all that concealer out with a really dense foundation brush and I make sure that it's super super uh, blended into my skin and all together so that there's no harsh lines and nothing patchy and I set that with the Cody Airspun Loose Setting Powder and I put that everywhere that I put the concealer. This bronzer was a gift and is in unmarked packaging, so I don't know which one it is, but I put that with a big fluffy brush anywhere where the sun hits my face to warm up my skin a little bit. For the fall and winter seasons, I've been loving this matte tart blush. I'm pretty sure it's in the shade Party, and I put that where my uh, face would normally blush. I have a round face, so that is kind of on the further side of my cheekbones, not really on the apples of my cheeks, and then a little bit on my nose. You can tell that I love this Wet n Wild highlighter. It is so worn down, but I put that on my cheekbones, and then I use this eyelash curler to curl my eyelashes. I'm pretty sure this eyelash curler is from Revlon. I'm not 100% sure though, and I don't think it really matters too terribly much, but curling your eyelashes makes a big difference, at least for me. 
For mascara, I have been using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and I put a really light coat on very deliberately so that my eyelashes are just lengthened and spread apart really nicely. I also put mascara on my bottom lashes. I've never had a problem with this mascara getting on the bottom and I think that this mascara looks so good. Look at that difference. The only difference there was mascara and then I put this white CoverGirl eyeshadow on my inner corners, on my nose bridge, and on my cupid's bow for a really intense highlight on those specific spots. Top it off with this e.l.f. e.l.f. clear gloss. Um, sometimes I use a colored gloss or just chapstick, either way I like it, and this is me trying to figure out how to pose without being awkward. Last but definitely not least, I sit down with my planner and a notepad and I plan out my entire day. Usually I will watch a YouTube video or a TV show or listen to a podcast while I do this, but this is really important for me. Fun fact, I always use the yellow pen because I never use the yellow pen for anything else and I don't want it to feel left out. So that was my morning routine. I stopped filming right around 10 a.m. That is when I start doing schoolwork or video editing or whatever it is, and that is when I consider my morning routine to be done. After that, it's kind of just a free for all. But with that, you have reached the end of the video. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe so that you can stick around and see more content like this and the other content that I post. I will be posting every single day up until Christmas Day. So if you don't want to miss a video, remember to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you do not miss a video. And with that all being said, Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a great rest of your day.